Hello, welcome to Pixel Span Combater Road Ben. Today I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards. I think that's what it's called on GBA. Bit bright, isn't it? I think they might have been overcompensating for the lack of backlight on the original GBA. Let me see if I can change that. I don't know that I can on this. Well, short answer is no. So it's a little bit washed out. I'm sure. It, wow. It's genuinely hard to see. So, so far I've learnt the buttons is B makes you go much, much faster. I think you can talk to dogs. No, you can't talk to dogs. Nothing down, nothing down there. Nothing down there. Okay, that's the way to go. Uh, there's a man. Um, normally I would start from the start, but in this game I'm not doing that because I've got a feeling the start takes some... Oh, it's Rex Raptor. Are you confident that you can win it all? Yes. Yes, I am fairly confident. Good, I expect nothing less from the guy who beat me. Get to the finals, promise me. Everyone is nice in this game. <laughs> Alright, I'll duel you. Okay, so this is Battle City rules, which means I have to put up a card as a, a, a wager, if you will. So, um... It's very hard to actually read most of these cards. I'd, I'll just put up uh, one that I've got more than one of, ideally. Which is apparently no... Ah. Two-headed King Rex. Ah, it's Rex Raptor. Uses anti. Anti means uh, bet or gamble, if you will. My turn. Presumably that means him. It's Ben. I spelt my name like a retard, apparently. <laughs> capital B, capital E, small n. We'll just go with it. Uh, right. Torrential Tribute. I think that kills all of his. Widespread Ruin. Probably kills all of his. Battle Ox. Dark Magician and Black Skull Dragon. Fuck me, that's a, that's a crew, isn't it? Always put him in the middle. Um, no? Attack, there we go. It, this doesn't have phases like like a traditional Yu-Gi-Oh game. It just, it's just one phase. Um, and you just, that's it. It's, it's very true to the, uh, to the, the TV series. Right, Armoured Lizard, throw that up. I'm going to put a little trap card out, just keep that there, just in case. Fuck it, I'll put another one out, isn't it? There's no real downside, is there, to doing that? Right, attack him, boom, he's dead. Armoured Lizard looks cool. I've got a very Kyber-esque hand here, haven't I, with the Armoured Lizard and the Battle, the battle Ox. That's, that's his sort of setup. Pot of Greed, throw that down, use that immediately. Uh, basically, the more cards you can draw, the better you'll do. It's it's a fact. Invisible what? Oh no, free tributes for that. Fuck me. Invisible one. I'm gonna throw that out. I reckon I need three for him as well. Two. Um, yeah, I, I might as well bring him into the game. So I sacrifice from here. And then, yep. Boom. Guildford the Lightning already. It does have a special effect. But I think I had to sacrifice three monsters when I drew him. Something like that. Memory's hazy. You sacrifice three. Summon the monster. It kills everyone. I think that's the shtick. Tripwire Beast. No idea. Looks like something of a fusion monster. I want to I know. That's how you do it. Um, no, I don't know. I, I don't know why I thought I'd learn anything from that. Right. Attack with the strong. It's good. Could have attacked with a weak one. It's fine. He's he's got no chance of winning. I picked Rex because he's he's easy. I would. The trap was an invisible wire. Evermore will disappear. My trap card took him out. Harpy's feather duster. I think that's called. It actually says Harpy's feather. Because nof nothing can fit on here apart from that apparently. I'm tempted to summon Dark Magician. There's, there's absolutely no point. I think I've already won at this point. Uh, nope, he's got 250 life points left. That's nothing. That is as nothing. Widespread Ruin. That killed him. I think those trap cards kill monsters with a certain attack. Uh, below a certain attack threshold. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. That's the sort of move I would do. Right. Vet capacity increased by 10, that's like experience. 12 domino, that's money, apparently. And the card he gave me, Urubi. Urubi. 
Don't come back from the finals a loser. Win it all. Okay, thank you very much. Um, very, it's next to impossible to see any damn thing right now. I, there's nothing I can do about this as well. That's the weird thing. It's funny how some games have that. I might, I might have a look at Castlevania, uh, the, the the Circle of the Moon one. Would you like to duel again? Is that a really cool idea? Where if you go up to someone and talk to them, they just talk to you. But if you go up to them and hit R, then you actually duel the person. I don't know why I feel that's a cool idea, but I I like it. I don't actually have any of these cards apparently. Yeah, many cards, do I? You know what? Let's probably put the ones you don't have at the bottom. There's no fast way of scrolling through this. That, that's just awful. It does seem to speed up, though. Uh, sword Arm of Dragon, I think that's called. Doesn't make sense. It's clearly a dinosaur. It's Ben's turn. Dark Magician, Wing Dragon, Barrel Rock. That's. What? <laughs> Witch's Apprentice. Why would I have a monster that weak? It must have it, that. If I've got like a piss weak monster like that in my deck, there must be a good reason up. I'm sure I remember being a boss at this game. Can't attack first turn. Everyone knows that. Son of a bitch! Oh, he beat me with the type advantage. That's still a thing in this game. Nine hundred. Uh, I need I need details. I need to see my. Wing Dragon. Uh, what type was it? Because I've got an Earth type here, but I'm. This might die immediately. No, it's fine. Okay, I'll, I reckon it was Wind type, the last one. Uh, Battle Ox. What's the shtick with this one then? A, st a starting witch with the ability to power up shadow type monsters and power down light type monsters on. on on your own field. Well, I don't have any of those at the minute, so let's, let's just not worry about it. The fact that I've currently got two monsters on the field and he has none means I'm probably going to win this duel. Electric Lizard. One monster on the foe's field will be immobilized in the next turn. That's, that's no issue. Obelisk the Tormentor. I've got goddamn Obelisk the Alright, All right. Witch's Apprentice, you get out there. Uh, electric Lizard, 850 attack. No, no, you're gone. And ideally, fuck it, I'll attack with her as well, why not? I'm, I'm about to summon a goddamn Egyptian god. There's nothing he can do unless he's got some good magic. No, it's fucked. Alright, Obelisk. Free tributes are required. Whenever you see your opponent suddenly sacrifice three monsters, you've got to think, well, I'm fucked. Boom. Obelisk out there. There's no, 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 uh, what's it called? No, there's no ceremony. There's no pomp around it. It's just there. Um, throw that on the field and attack. 4,000 damage. Why the fuck not? That was a big deal back in those days. He, he knows he's screwed now. I'm trying to remember what exactly Obelisk. Obelisk does in this game. Details, there you go. A monster that can wipe out all monsters on the foe's side of the field at the same time it hits the foe with... Oh. I think you can only do... I think in this game you have to summon the monster and use its effect on that turn, otherwise you can never use the effects. It's dumb, I know, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. Alright, come on. Get... Oh, infinite dismissal. I've got plenty of traps. He's not going to be able to do fuck all, but I can't... Unless I can get another monster on the field. He, he's, he's just keeping his head above water. Torrential Tribute again. If he has the ghoul to summon anything face up, I'll be fine. He's he's dead right now, basically. Infinite Dismiss... Fuck it, throw that out as well. I'm pretty sure all those traps are very useful. Yep. Acid trap pole. Same same stick as what I got out already. Red medicine. Oh great. F 500. That's 
That's nothing. You Apparently my, my deck is entirely composed of these four monsters and a shit ton of powerful traps. They're powerful traps in this because there's not really anything better. I'd like to use Pot of Greed, but I can't. Oh no, I can get rid of something. Right, get rid of that. Pot of Greed. Ah, shit. I just re You can only hold five cards in this game for for a dumb set of reasons. Ah. I mean, I, I half wasted my Pot of Greed. Right. Oh, shit. You only have five cards, so it doesn't let you draw anymore after that. I think Slife of the Sky Dragon is in this game, but its effect works differently than than how it is supposed to. Which is why I've got Obelisk. I can remember, you get Obelisk first, I think, and then you ca you have the choice of having Slifer, and you, you can only have one or the other. You can't have both of them at any one time, and you... You have to go and switch between them. And then, if you beat the final boss, you get the Winged Dragon of Ra, and then the game ends. So she gives it to you, the game ends, and it, and then it's like, well, that's it. So you never actually get to use it. Oh, come on. I just need a monster. Right, I'm going to try Obelisk Effect. Contract of Mask? That's is that a tribute? Ritual? A ritual for summoning Mask of Shine and Dark. For this, two monsters and a Mask of Darkness are needed. Right, I don't have that. Oh, I can just hit this card. Right. Effect. No. I don't, I don't really know how that works. At this point, we're burning through all our cards. I've got slightly less than him. Armored Lizard. Thank fuck for that. Right. Attack Armoured Lizard. He's fucked now. Boom. Everything gone. It was only a matter of time. And he got five for that. Ryukishin, the something powered. Right, I need I need to go and find a stronger opponent. For, right, no, that's apparently up there. I remember up here, this graveyard, there's Esper Roba and his brothers. It's a man. Uh, no, there's nothing up there. Nothing down there. Barricade there. And yep, there's bones in the graveyard. I think I need to take a train or some sort of public transport. Oh, there's a game shop. Which there's two shops in this game. I remember, and and that one's the worst of the two. Like the other one actually lets you buy. Ah, oh, that's it. That, that red sign means train station. Localization wasn't very good back then. Clock Tower Square, card shop, art, park, bridge, building, building's my favorite, aquarium, pier, stadium site, Kyber Corp Island. Well, let's go there. There's bound to be someone tough here, isn't there? Maybe. Oh, look, it's, it's the whole crew. Are you ready to duel? Yes. I think this is the end fight of the game, actually. Oh, fuck it, I'll do it, yeah. The end has finally arrived in the world of Tomb Keepers. I grew up in the Shadow Realm. It was darkness of eternity from which none escape. My former self feared, loathed the dark... This is just, this is trash. This is absolute trash. Fwa ha ha, yep. We're doing a Shadow Duel now. Um... There's really no point in putting anything up to ante for this, because you, you don't actually get to use it. Right, so I've got Obelisk in hand straight away, and a shit ton of traps. You can tell it's a Shadow Jewel, because it's played on this weird Scorched Earth looking board. Right, I'm going to throw Time Wizard out there, presumably to die, but I have to put something out. And all of those cards. I might well lose this, because I, I don't know what's in my deck. And I don't know if he's any good or not. Right, attack with this thing. Stalemate. What does Time Wizard do in this? Uh, it just transforms Dark Magician and Baby Dragon. Baby Dragon! Um, yeah, that's that's no good. To, actually, I better, better put that in defense mode. What does Harpy's Feather Duster do? 
That's not what I wanted to do. I know it does now, but fuck, fuck that that did. Um, okay, that destroys a monster that attacks it, which I think is code for if a monster attacks me. And this will... Uh, okay, right. I'll, I don't think he can actually attack me. Legendary Fiend. Well, that's not good. But I think Widespread Ruin will kill him. Uh, trap trap card that has die constant. Anyone, if attacked, it destroys all monsters on the foe's field. Again, useful. Throw him in defense mode and see what Legendary Fiend. Is that the one? No, that's not the one. I think it gets weaker. Uh, no, it powers itself up. Gets Actually gets stronger. Quite the opposite of what I thought. Exarian Universe. It will infect life. Oh, yeah. Yeah, except it, they, they all died. That's such a bitch of a card, the one I just used. Revival Jam. Right. Attack with everyone now. Because he's a fool. Then is Revival Jam anything special in this? Didn't read that. A being that multiplies. If there is room on the player's field, it can split into two. Boom. Uh, I've now got two revival gems. <laughs> Actually, a very powerful monster in this. Oh no! You died, mate! Beckon to darkness. What does that do? Trap card that causes the banishment of a monster to darkness. If attacked, it destroys a monster on the foe's field. Uh, right, let's summon some monsters. Sacrifice him, him, and him. Get Obelisk the Tormentor on the field. Attack with him. And he's basically got one move with no cards on the field to take out my trap card, my god, and the revival jam. Just for good measure. Fuck it. Back into darkness. Get cocky. Throw it all out there. I'm pretty sure I've won. And Doran. The hell's Doran? Strike to warrior that can create a copy of itself in battle. It can do so if there is an empty spot on the player's field. Basically, if I've, if I've got like a seemingly crap monster, it's because it's got a good effect. I put it there because I wasn't sure if I put it there if it would, if the effect works or not. It's, it's, very, it's a bit picky, this game. Let's put it that way. It's a bit picky. It's a good thing I attacked with Obelisk. Otherwise, I wouldn't have beat him this turn. Right, and uh, I've won. Look, 30 and 500,000 domino I got from that. Brilliant. The god card lost. Why? How? It's because you didn't play it, you dick. Obtain the winged dragon of Ra. Yeah. Ra. Dead. <laughs> the evil in Marrakishtar has dissipated. Ben, you did it. That's it, Ben. I'm glad it's over. So I just I get I get Yu-Gi-Oh bridged in my head whenever I whenever I have to see Tristan. <laughs> Look, Joey's back to full health. Yu-Gi! No, I, I can't do his voice. You really awake, Wheeler? What? What's wrong with you crying like that? Y you idiot! We're all freaked out and worried about you. You lost that shadow duel and you wouldn't wake up. Sob. Uh, that's what it was. I lost to Marek Ishtar. So, who won it all? Ben. <laughs> he won the final duel against Marek. Oh, yeah. Way to go, Ben. I, no, I've got to stop trying. You must be back to normal to shout like that, Joey. Apparently, he was shouting. Sure thing, I'm back and great as ever. There's Mokuba telling me I've won the tournament. We'll be reaching Domino soon. Get ready for disembarking. How do you like that? Big attitude. Woo. Mokub is back. I almost forgot. I had to say my big brother woke up. Thanks, Ben. You're welcome. I don't recall exactly how the big tournament goes down in this. Like, the final four, if you're part of them, or if there's five of you. I think you might be part of the four somehow. You have done admirably, Ben. Thanks to you, Marek Ishtar has been thwarted from bringing his cruel design to fruition. 
Now may I ask for the return of the god cards. Now, watch what happens, right? Obviously, you want to say no. Here's what happens. You say no. The god cards must be sealed away, this time forever. So that this crisis is never again repeated. That doesn't make sense. I should have them. Now, may I ask for the return? No, I'll keep them because no one can beat me. I'm the best there is. And it just goes on like that forever. So you have to say yes. She takes the god cards. You no longer have god cards. Uh, yep. So you're going to take Marek back. He should be in prison. Just throwing that out there. He, uh, he killed people. He ran a ruthless gang of... Okay, we'll admit it, card thieves, but still, they're thieves. I'm pretty sure he killed his dad. Yep. On on your way, Odeon. And, uh, yep. Oh, it's not quite game over yet. There's, there's an epilogue of sorts. Hey, thanks, really. You saved me, Ben and Yugi. Don't worry about it. We made it because we're all working hard together. I can't really read. Yeah, that's true. I mean, there's more colour in the captured image, but it's, it's somehow brighter. In spite of everything, it was great. I had fun competing with everyone. Yeah, me too. Heh. Even the worst villains don't stand a chance. Not when we get involved. Ha, huh, that's going too far, Mr. Joey Wheeler. Ha 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 ha. Don't let it concern you, my friend. Anyway, the tournament is over now. So it's back to boring old school again. Yeah. Yeah. Atlantis may attack you. I'm pretty sure that happens. Uh, yeah, I'm sure we're all going to duel when we're back in school and everything is normal again. That's definitely going to happen. Yep. Off you go. You may notice your character in this is a Pokemon trainer. Don't question it. It's, it's clear what you are and no one talks about it. That little fade to black was quite handy. In the, it, it made it so uh, so you can actually see briefly. Yeah, and that's uh, that's that's the game. Uh, these are the credits. I'm gonna I'm not gonna skip through these because um, it's not possible. It does show you everyone you get to fight in the game though. I'm falling away. So we got that guy whose name escapes me. Got Weevil, Bones. He's normal. You move up a tier, apparently, to Mako. I don't think he's a tier in any kind of way. That guy, who I think is called the Mime. Not really sure about that one. This one could be Umbra and Luna, something like that. Nox, I don't know. That's Mai. We know Mai. Yugi's grandfather, looking incredibly angry for some reason. He may have been mind controlled. Mokuba. Oh no! Wanker's cramp! Evil Joey. Evil Mokuba. Presumably Kaiba's up next. No, Taya. Spelt T. Very confusing. Isis. Sometimes called a Shizu. I think. I'm not 100% I'm not on that one. Odeon. Yep. Kaiba. He's down there for some reason. He's got his hand up. A bit. It's very hard to see there. And Marek, uh, that might well be it. Or is Yugi up there as well? Alright, no, Yugi, he gets, he gets a full shot. Look at him. He's boss. He's holding his cards in the wrong... Is he holding his cards in the wrong hand? No, you have to hold them in that hand, otherwise you can play them. That's very confusing. Dude, this is horribly designed. And, uh... Yeah, you'll notice that says the end. Um, can't do anything there. That's it. There's no, there's no like in-game reset or anything. You just have to sit and look at this forever or turn your game off. Which is why you never get to use the Winged Dragon of Ra. It's just such a piss take. Anyway, thanks for watching. That's actually a nice little artwork. I think that can be the logo for this one. The thumbnail. I'll see you next time.